Hey, hi all. My name is Prashant Pradeep. I am from I am a technical support engineer here at Informatica with the Cloud Data Integration team. In today's session, we are going to quickly walk through how we can use the file processor connector to perform the SFTP put operation. Let's quickly dive right into our video. So what is the file processor connector? The file processor connector can be used uh, to uh, securely transfer files from one location to another location regardless of the size and location. Um, the file processor connector can perform multiple operations namely the F FTP, SFTP operations like SFTP get, SFTP put. You can move files within the local agent server, you can copy files within the local agent server, you can compress and decompress files, encrypt and decrypt files, archive and unarchive files and we can also rename files, uh, rename the local files. But in today's session, we are going to mainly focus um, on the SFTP put operation. Um, uh, so, uh, so to quickly summarize on our agenda, uh, we go to quickly just simplify what is the SFTP put and the SFTP get operation, and uh, we are going to we are going to review how we can perform the SFTP put operation to transfer files from the local agent server to a remote server. So let's quickly dive right into it. So let's quickly simplify the SFTP put and the get operation. Um, I'm not an artist, but hey, this is my simple take on the SFTP put and the SFTP get operation. So the um, the SFTP put operation is when we are moving files from the local agent server to uh, to the FTP server um, that's when it's that's an, an operation um, such as that is called as an SFTP put operation so again depending on your server uh, if the server communicates over port 22 uh, securely that would be an SFTP put operation whereas if your server is does not support SFTP and supports FTP over port 21 uh, that would be FTP put operation um, and similarly if, if I if I have a server if I have a remote server and if I'm trying to get the files from that remote server to the local agent server then that would be an SFTP get operation and again uh, if the communication happens over port 22 then that would be an SFTP get operation and whereas if the communication happens over port 22 that would be an FTP get operation so in today's session we are going to mainly focus on the SFTP put operation that is if we that is if we want to move the files from the local agent server to the FTP server how can uh, uh, what are the steps to achieve that so um, the uh, mapping is going to be a fairly simple mapping on how we can achieve that. The first step is to create the file processor connect connection. Then the second step is to create a mapping such that the source is a file processor connector. And in the target, we select uh, we select a dummy target can be a flat file or a, or a database connection. And uh, basically, this target would contain the status of the SFTP put operation. Um, so we in the source we also provide the, uh, the we, we also provide further details in the query options the host name the port number um, and the username and the password of our SFTP user and then we run the mapping let's get into our demo right now let us quickly review uh, how we can perform the SFTP operation outside Informatica. So I'm currently logged into my secure agent server and um, I'm using a tool called as WinSCP. WinSCP is a client tool for performing FTP operations and as you can see I have selected the protocol as SFTP. Um, so you also have protocol as FTP. I'm selecting protocol as SFTP and I'm giving port number 22 I'm giving my host name, my username, and my password, and I'm going to uh, of my host name of my FTP SFTP of my SFTP server, and I'm going to click on login. So you can see that the login was successful, and 
I am navigating to my target let's quickly go C drive Shant landing so my use case is very simple uh, in my use case I have a path in my local server called a C Prashant FP landing and my goal is to move these files to the uh, to the FTP uh, to my SFTP server location so I want to move these files like this to my SFTP server location so the question is how can I do this and um, also what I what I want to do is I want to ensure that all the files with the pattern info underscore gets moved to the target so let's review how we can do the same so every time we use a file processor connector it's a good first step to first test the connectivity to your SFTP server outside Informatica and ensure that you are able to move files to the uh, using WinSCP and it's also ensure you are able to move files uh, to your SFTP server okay let's get started on the file processor connector okay this so the first step what we are going to do is we are going to ensure that the file processor license is enabled under administrator licenses you can see that I have my license enabled the second step is we are going to go to administrator runtime environment navigate to your agent group click on the three dots over here next to the agent group enable or disable services or connectors navigate to connectors and ensure that your file processor connector is enabled now once the connector is enabled in your agent group then we go back to administrator navigate to connections create a create a connection for your file for your file processor so you can see here that I have selected connection type as file processor. I have selected my secure agent runtime environment. My source file directory is uh, my source file directory is the um, is the secure agent uh, path. So you have to be careful about the uh, slashes and ensure that you know the slashes follow the uh, the operating system standards. So you can see that my source file directory is my path in my secure agent server. My target file directory is the FTP uh, is my FTP server path where I want to move the files to. And I am selecting a pattern. So I am selecting all the files which starts with the pattern info underscore and um, when we are connecting to SFTP we need to use a password um, and um, ideally we don't want to expose our passwords uh, to everyone um, and hence uh, you know we we can store our password in the in our in the password the, the passkey one is hashed and users cannot see the uh, see the password now um, in the in once the connection is created let's go ahead and create a mapping the mapping is a very simple mapping we have a source the source is going to have the file processor connector the operation what I've selected is SFTP put that's the operation what I've selected um, and over here in the query options we can add in filters by adding and adding filters like this so I've added four filters I've added the host name I've provided the host name of my uh, SFTP server which I'm connecting to I have selected the port number which is 22 my username I've given the username and the password if you observe I have not given the password in clear text but the problem is if I give the password in clear text the password gets exposed to everyone hence instead of instead of that I am giving it as passkey one where the value gets picked up from the connection um, uh, you know so, so this is a, this is how you provide the SFTP password always provide the password in the connection properties and uh, and then ensure here you provide it as passkey one because you don't want to expose your password okay and um, in the target I'm selecting um, flat file 
and I'm selecting create new at runtime so this flat file is going to mainly have the status of our um, uh, is going to have the status of our uh, operation the SFTP put operation I have now triggered the job let's go to my job and you can see it has completed successfully two files have been processed successfully let's go back to our server and check the status so you can see that the files have got moved to the TGT location successfully let me quickly delete this once again and I want to show you another cool feature now let us say we also have a requirement and our requirement is such that after the files are moved to the, SF, uh, to the SFTP server we also want to delete the source files that is move the files to the target and ensure that the files are deleted so uh, at the source so to do that we have an option in the in the source we have an option so in the source we have an option we select delete source equal to add the value 1 click on ok and let's execute the job Okay, let's come back to our server and see the status so let me so here you can see currently I have two files and let me just refresh to check the status and you can see that the source files have got deleted and it has been moved to the target location and that is the that is the advantage of using the delete source equal to one option let us lastly review the status file which just got created so the status file gives you the source file directory the destination file directory and the the file names which have been processed it also gives you the timestamp on when these files have been processed so this will give this will help you keep a tab on the files which have been processed and uh, an overall status of the operation performed by the file processor connector i hope you all found the demo provided helpful you can review the following connector documentation for further reading if you found this session helpful we would love to hear from you Please feel free to reach out to us at support videos at ratinginformatica.com. You can also reach out to us on Twitter on our handle InfoSupport. Thank you.